changes in Korean since 1980s. Languages change all the time, and the Korean is no exception. In the age of social media, words that go viral quickly become mainstream, but other changes happen slowly and are hard to notice. I started learning Korean in 1983, and uh, 41 years since then have revealed a number of interesting changes. The most obvious change is the decline in the use of Chinese characters. In the early 1980s, Chinese characters were much more common in newspapers, books, and street signs. Newspapers used vertical text and the headlines and the proper nouns were open in Chinese characters. Some brand names used Chinese characters, which at the time conveyed a sense of sophistication. Chinese characters have long been controversial in South Korea in an attempt to instill nationalism in Koreans. Park Jung Hee banned the teaching of Chinese characters in schools in 1970 in favor of Hangul only policy. This sparked a firestorm of criticism that led Park to allow the teaching of Chinese characters again in 1972, but only as an elective called classical Chinese in middle and high school. The success of Korea's 1987 democracy movement brought sweeping social changes that continued in the, into the 1990s. A wave of national sentiment in the wake of democratization led to a renewed hangul only language policy. As a result, newspapers and magazines reduced the number of Chinese characters and switched to horizontal text in the early 1990s. At the same time, the English boom that spread rapidly in society made English the prestige language both for learning and as a source of brand names. Chinese characters have not disappeared completely but their use is now mostly limited to humanities scholars who need them for their research. In the 1980s, it was common to hear older people using the intimate level when speaking to young adults. As South Korea urbanized and the so social anonymity increased, the intimate level become more restricted to family and friends. It is now considered rude to use it in most other situations. In organizations, people in senior position used it with subordinate, but this has diminished as the workplace has become more egalitarian. It is still common for strangers to use it with children but this is also disappearing. These are not the only changes in Korean since the early 1980s, but like all language changes, they are products of the rapid changes in South Korean society. The pace of change may slow, but language will always change with it.